Hi, and welcome to the Clark Auction June 11th auction preview video of Asian Arts. We're going to start here. We have this beautiful pair of hexagonal or faceted Chinese Fami Rose enamel decorated jars, um, and they are displaying figures in various outfits um, and a nice pair. If you want to take a look at the underside, there is an impressed stamp here. And we also have a beautiful collection, an extensive collection of Japanese arts. We'll start here with this Japanese porcelain iron red gilt decorated blue and white teapot with a wonderful um, swan or bird form spout. Um, and then we have here these head form feet, which are quite interesting. And then the spout terminates in this mask or face. And then we have these outdoor scenes of figures, landscapes, really quite nice. It is, there's a faint mark, a six character mark to the underside. This is one of my favorite pieces in the sale, again, a Japanese vase. Um, there is a sticker to the bottom that says that it's by an artist named Nishiora, and there is a two character mark, but it just beautifully decorated this nice cabinet vase with the birds um, and this nice color variation, again, from our Japanese estate. Here we have a Japanese lounging figure of a scribe, um, blue and white with these medallions of flowers. And you can see here he has a pen or a, um, in his hand. Really quite nice again. Here we have a bird form incense burner. So it is an incense burner. A portion of the wings lifts up and you can see the interior. Beautiful depiction of the face, the open mouth, the outstretched tongue does have a price tag of 5800 to the bottom, again from our Japanese estate. This is one of several examples of Hirado Japanese porcelains. So we have this incised decoration to the body of the vessel. If you can see, we have these turtles all around the border, and these figural handles, really so beautiful, really beautifully done. There's a hairline to the underside, but again from our Japanese estate. Here we have this Japanese blue and white water dropper with a landscape scene. Really quite beautiful. These two pieces are grouped together. So we have this blue and white Japanese landscape dish, and then this wonderful blue and white and iron red double dragon lidded vessel. Really quite nice, signed to the underside. Just these beautiful dragons to the body of vessel. And this kind of heart shape or lobed design or frame. Individually lauded is this Japanese double fish dish in blue and white. Again, Japanese from our one estate. Signed to the underside with these florets on the edge, three to 500. Japanese patinated bronze urn or vase with a signature to the underside. Can't really see this, but all of the pictures are available on our website. An example of Japanese satsuma with children playing amongst chrysanthemums or flowers. And again, a nice signature to the underside. Actually, also in the sale, I didn't bring them out, but I can grab one quickly. There are wonderful examples of Japanese reference books. So there's marks. All the information for these books are on our website. So these beautiful books. There's marks and information, things that you just can't find on the internet, just pages after page of different Japanese marks. Um, and these are quite nice. So there's two separate lots of Japanese books, reference books in the sale, each estimated at six to 900. And jumping back to our porcelains, we have this Japanese blue and white bamboo form bowl with feet, signature to the underside. Um, I believe that this one is Korean. So it's a celadon green with flowers. Underside, there is an impressed mark. Moving on to some Chinese, we have a pair of lavender and green jade bagel bracelets at four to 600. Jumping back to Japanese, we have this wonderful Japanese blue and white and this kind of brown gray of double dragons. They're really quite beautiful and this very sweet top, very tiny. Um, and then it's kind of double gourd style and it is signed to the underside. A large Japanese Satsuma bowl. So you can see the floral decoration to the interior. And then we have immortals to the exterior. So really quite nice beautifully depicted with this gold ground. And then you can see the underside also. And here from our Japanese estate, we have another beautiful Japanese Hirado blue and white vase, and it's actually illustrated in this book. So this is an oriental ceramics book by S.W. Bushell. You can see how wonderfully depicted these frog handles are, the wave decoration, but what's really nice is these trees. So you can see that the interior has this tree design, and then it overlaps 
to the bottom of the rim and it's just beautifully decorated. And there's actually a label on the bottom from the Jade Dragon. So it's illustrated in this book also and the estimate is 12 to 1500. Chinese porcelains, we have this beautiful kind of mottled red and yellow Chinese vase with a six character mark to the underside. So really quite nice. Um, another Chinese tricolor vase. All the details on the website. Nice age to this piece. This is one of two stacking boxes in the sale, both Chinese. Uh, one is Fami Rose and this one is Grisaille. So it's got this great depiction of landscapes and figures. We have a gilt bronze Buddha on a double lotus base. This is really wonderful. Came out on one of our Walk-in Wednesday appraisal days. And this is the fitted base. Um, and there are these just foo lions or foo, foo dragons um, all climbing together, really beautifully carved out of one piece of agate. And this is a Japanese enamel decorated dancing figure. So you can see as the dragon form to his headdress, he's carrying a shield and a baton it looks like. Um, there is a little bit of damage to the shield, but otherwise this is a very neat, cool piece of ceramic. Um, this is a glazed terracotta vase with an applied monster, kind of wrapped with this blue and white ribbon. And let's just take a look at the bottom. So there is an impressed stamp here, it's hard to see, um, but really quite nice at three to 500. Uh, white jade chi long pendant. So a pie pendant with the circle in the center. Um, this we have a, another white jade pendant, Chinese with a landscape scene and then calligraphy to the opposite side. And here we have a collection of Chinese kingfisher feather ornaments. So these are all the kingfisher feathers, really quite nice. Um, and this is estimated four to six hundred. This is a really beautifully displayed um, red splash, probably 20th century Chinese vase. You can see the signature here, uh, unidentified artist, but really quite beautiful. It's really a statement. I love the color and the design here. Okay, so we have a wonderful collection of Japanese prints for this sale. So we have about 10 um, Hiroshi Yoshidas. So all various Japanese prints. Um, so you can just take a look here at a variety of them. And then these are by a separate artist. Um, so these are all by Hasubi Kawase. So again, all individually lotted, really quite nice. All the details, the titles, etc., are available on our website. Um, and then here are some more of the Yoshidas. So really nice examples different scenes throughout Japan and all of the details, titles, etc. are all on our website. They're actually really beautifully framed as well. And this just came in on last Friday, I believe. This is a large sign floor vase Japanese Satsuma with pigeons, which I like because my family raised homing pigeons for the majority of my life and my dad's life. So really beautifully depicted pigeons and flowers, uh, gilt decoration to the rim with um, circular medallions with double dragons. And there is a signature on the bottom. Even the base is beautifully, just this beautifully carved base, um, tripod foot with these kind of florets. And then we'll move on to one of two. These are Japanese Rakuchu Rokugaizu screens. So this is a six panel screen. Um, kind of like a genre scene of Japanese life. And this is one of two, and these both came from our Japanese estate. This one is estimated at 600 to 900. And then we're going to wrap it up with this 19th century uh, chinoiserie painted and tooled leather floor screen, quite large, um, in relatively good condition. It's been relined on the back, but it's really quite beautiful. And this came from a Manhattan estate. And this is estimated at two to three thousand. And that wraps it up for our selection of Asian arts, and we hope to see you on June 11th.